Hello, welcome to Flores Computers Academy. In this lesson today, I want to show you quickly how to use two different page numbers in a single document. You want to use two different number formats, maybe decimal number and Roman numeral in the same document. We are going to do that right now. Now, the first thing you are going to do is to break the document into sections. When you open one and you create a Word document, they are single section. And what that means is that when you put your page number, remember page number can either be at the footer or the header section of your document. I've done training on where the footer is and where the uh you know the header of a document is. On this document, for example, uh, we can see the top here, that is our header, and then the bottom, the header is here, and then the footer for the page one is just below here. So, but in this document now, you can either insert your page number to either the header or the footer on the document. So, what we are going to do is to break the session because if you insert it to a Word document that the session has not been divided, it's just a single session. Whatever you put on the header will reflect on all the headers of the document. Whatever you put on the footer will reflect on all the footers of that document, no matter the number of pages. So we are going to break this document into two sections because we want to use two different number formats on each of the sections. So this document is 19 pages. The cover page up to page 4, that is where I have uh, acknowledgement. Up to page 4, where we have acknowledgement. We are going to be using a particular section different from the other one. You have the acknowledgement page, dedication page, and then uh, introduction page. So what is computer is going to be another page number format entirely, but continuation from the first one. So that means if you use Roman numeral 1 to 4, up to the four pages, what is a computer supposed to start with page 5, decimal number format. So that is what we are going to do. Now, join me and let's go through this and do it together. If you have any question or concern, don't hesitate to drop that in the comment section. You can also write me on WhatsApp as I've received many other messages on the WhatsApp and I actually attend to them. So if you have an issue and then you need a clarification or even if it is not about this training, you are working on your computer and you have an issue, you can definitely reach out to Flores Computer. We are going to help you out to resolve that. Now, let's go ahead with this. Like I said, the first thing you are going to do is to break the session. Where do we want to break the session? We want the session break to start at this page after the introduction. So from the introduction. So we are going to break the session from this page, which is now page uh, 4 of 19. So you put your cursor at the page, at the end of the test, in the page that you want to break. So we want page 1 to 4, that is from the cover page to introduction to be a section. And then from page 5, where we have what is computer, to the end of the document to be another section. So what I need to do straight away uh, is to go over to my layout on your menu bar. Remember on the menu bar of Microsoft, you have the file, the home, insert, design, and layout. Uh, under the layout, come over to breaks. Okay, you click on the break, the drop down. Uh, in one of the previous lessons I've done, I've actually explained the page break and how to use it. But in this one, we are going to be doing section breaks. We want to break the section of this Microsoft Word. So you go to next page, insert the session break and start the new section on the next page. That is exactly what we are going to do. Remember your cursor must be at the point that you want to break, which we have done after the last text in the introduction. Okay, so I click on section break. Now, this jump to another page entirely. This section has been broken down into two sections. So, section one is different from section two. So, uh, don't worry about this border that you are seeing over here. It is because the first section of the first page started with a border. That is why we have the border here as well. However, we can take care of the border by removing it. All you need to go is to go to design and then we go to page border. And in this case, I don't want the border on this page. Uh, this section, first page only, no border. So I click OK. That border has gone. So you don't need to bother yourself about the border. That's on a lighter mode. Now, let's go ahead. Now, I come over to this. This is second session. The another session I started from what is computer. How did I know? 
Now double click on the header part of your document like I've done now. Okay, push your cursor on the header and double click. Or right click on the header and click edit header. So you are going to have that option. If you don't double click, you will have the option. Now you can see header section two. This header is for section two. Now let's go up and see. You can see footer section one. So this is section one. And then the next page, you have section two. So we are going to be putting the page number. Let's begin with uh, the section one. The numbering start from the section one because we are actually numbering down. So from the section one, we are going to be putting our page number on the header or footer. The choice is yours of the section one. The first page of the section one is here. So I will go click here. And the next thing to do now is go to insert. Under insert, go to page number. Now you can see the page number. When you're on the page number, before you insert the page number, you need to define what type of number that you want to insert. So this time around, I go to format page numbers. I want to define the type of page number I want to use, number format. Then if you look at the drop down, you have the decimal number one, two, three. You have the Roman numeral, you have the alphabetical. So it depends on your choice and the kind of document you are working on. So I want to use the Roman numeral for the first four pages. So I'm going to click on the Roman numeral. Then where should it start from? Definitely, let it start from one, Roman numeral one. So I will do OK. When I do OK, I have done the page number format. So the page number is not going to reflect because what I've done is to define the kind of number that I want and where it's going to start from. So now I go back to page number and then I choose either top of the page or bottom of the page. Whichever uh, one you are using, either top, which is at the header, or bottom of the page at the footer, you can also decide whether you want the number to be at the left, you want it to be at the center, or you want it to be at the right. So I'm gonna be using center. So let's put it at the center and then I click OK. Now, you can see that when we just did that, we have the page number on the first page, Roman number one, two, three, and then four. It's going to end there, okay? Uh, because this section, great. Now, footer section two, now continue as five, six, so seven. That's a very fast way of doing it. So, as you can see right now, because we broke the section before we did the numbering. Now, if you look up here, you see it under the design, right? Now, if you don't want the page number to reflect on the first page of your document, uh, just like you don't have a page number on a textbook, the first page, which is the cover page, your project document as well, usually you don't put the page number on the first page. But the second page will have a number and it will start from two. So in that way as well, we can do different page number. If I click different page number, it means that the first page should not have a page number and then the numbering starts as true from the second page, which is exactly what we want to achieve in this lesson. Just a quick recap on how we achieve this is to first and foremost, look at the document, decide where you want to break the page number and do a section break. Once you have done the section break, then go to your insert and then insert the page number, define the number format that you want to insert. Now you can go ahead and try it now that we are done all we need to do is to close header and footer then we are done if you have not subscribed please go ahead and click the subscription button now and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when i upload the next lesson thank you for taking your learning journey with flores computers looking forward to see you in the next lesson bye